What's going on everyone? I am the Kilted Cage and welcome back to my channel with Disney stock plummeting at an all-time, not an all-time low, 60-year low, $81, $82. It's getting a little desperate for the House of Mouse. And what on earth could you think they could possibly do? I've had a few ideas and, well, apparently maybe they're listening somewhat in this little article from CBR.com, Disney reveals 100th anniversary Blu-ray set with 100 animated films. Now, if you think about it, this might be a pretty good idea, but let's see what it's all talking about. I'm not, I'm not reading the same thing over and over again. Disney Pixar films. Oh, God. Launching massive... Let's see. Title. 100 animated films. Tagline, 100 animated films. First line in the article, 100 animated films from 1937 to 2023. Maybe they should stop at around 2015, 2016, because, well, well, definitely stop it before this year for sure. At Destination D23, Walt Disney Studios Showcase event, Disney announced on Sunday that they would soon release what's called the Disney Legacy Animated Film Collection. Massive Blu-ray set contains 100 films from Disney, Walt Disney Studios, and Pixar. Officially releases on November 14th through a limited, a limited number... Oh, though a limited number will be available to pre-order through Walmart.com starting September 18th. Each set, here's where we get to the price point. Each set will include a numbered certificate of authenticity. That explains a little bit of the price point. This is going to be a collector's edition. How many Disney collectors are still out there? Again, stock prices plummeting. Uh, millions of subscribers canceling their Disney Plus. Lack of interest in most of their IPs. A growing lack of interest in their IPs. Live action bombs, box office bombs. How many Disney collectors are still out there? But the price point, of course, the set isn't exactly cheap, given the content included, as it will be priced at $1,500. Now, this is where the idea goes south. This is not priced for everyone. Sure. I'm sure there will be some people who grab it for $1,500, wait a few years, or at least when the sale's opened. Also, depending on the certificate of authenticity, are they going to be numbered? That's going to be another special thing for collectors. If they're numbered, it might sell pretty well, as long as they don't go the crowdfunding route and bomb like Reva's lightsaber. But uh, reselling it in a year, two, or three. The other problem is, is a lot of Disney collectors are already going to have these movies. They're already going to have these things. Uh, this will come in a unique, self-standing three-volume set that unfolds like a storybook. Okay. Presentation is pretty good. Just, eh, the bland coloring on the outside. I don't know. Hmm. Along with the plethora of Blu-ray discs for 100 animated movies, the collection also includes digital codes for each title. That's a plus. Uh, so, well, you still have to open it. You just don't have to, I guess, use the discs. Or, even better, you get the digital codes and you sell the box. Or vice versa, you sell the digital codes, you get some of your money back. But then, even with the 100, selling them for $10, you get 1000 well, sell the digital codes for five to ten dollars you can get some of your money back so other bonuses with wow that's bad <laughs> uh collection also includes digital codes okay other bonuses with this set include the original theatrical poster art okay so maybe this is a, actually a fantastic bit for collectors at least for the again the original theatrical poster art, collectible lithograph for Wish, who cares, and a collectible crystal Mickey Mouse ear hat with exclusive Disney 100 engraving. Okay. So, the most interesting thing I find, the best part of this whole box set is those, the original poster art. So, you're going to have a stack of 100 original poster arts. What size are they going to be? Does it say anything about that? How big are the posters? Are they... I guess they're probably going to be enough to fit inside the boxes, huh? That's my assumption. Complete list of the titles featured in the box was revealed. We got a bunch of them. Now, I'm wondering... 
Are these going to have disclaimers at the beginning? Talk like especially is it, let's see if Dumbo's in it. Yep, there's Dumbo number four right there. Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, Bambi. See, these are all fantastic additions. All this oh oh three caballeros. Oh, is that not problematic for modern audiences? I I seriously doubt Song of the South. Anybody want to place bets on whether Song of the South is going to be in this? I seriously doubt it. I don't see it. Aristocats, Jungle Book. These are fantastic additions. Black Cauldron, another one. The original Little Mermaid. Nope. I see no Song of the South in here, and that's a shame. Sure, there are some massive stereotypes in that movie, but it's still part of our history. It's part of the lexicon. And I don't think, well, inside the zippity doo dah. How, I mean, is Br'er br Briar? Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Br'er, Br'er, I can't even say it. And of course, the, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I don't even know if I can say it. The, um, the tar in that movie, if you, if you're old enough to know what the hell I'm talking about. So, these are, you know, Definitely good additions, and let's get all the way to the bottom. Elemental, Strange World, flop, flop, flop. No, Elemental's doing good. Let's see. Strange World, flop. Lightyear, flop. Turning Red, flop. Encanto, Luca, fantastic. Raya, eh, that was all right. Soul, didn't wait, didn't watch it. Onward, that was fantastic. Toy Story 4, don't bother. Huh. So, this is definitely a good addition. What would be better? I think what would be, what would be a better idea is to perhaps release the Decade Collection. 100th anniversary and release the movies that like starting with Snow White in 1937 go all the way up to fun and fancy free so these first 10 movies first nine movies have that in the first box set and then go over the next decade or do 10 movie box set something with smaller price points that your average normie oh, I'll say normie your average collector could get their hands on. I think that would be a better idea. Will these sell? Of course they will, because again, having these movies on Blu-ray is something that collectors would definitely want to get their hands on if they don't have them already. The Crystal Hat, that's okay. The Lithograph from Wish, nobody's seen that movie yet. It's the posters and a Blu-ray copy of all these movies that's going to get people interested. The price point is going to turn a lot of people away. And that is unfortunate. If Disney wants to essentially print money, you either do 100 anniversary releases of each movie or do a 10 movie box set. Set it at 100 bucks and that'll be printing money. Or just the regular just release each movie as a as a box set with the poster twenty dollars a piece you could probably do thirty dollars a piece how many people out there would buy snow white digitally remastered on blu-ray 4k with the original poster in the box set disney fans classic fans of classic disney the classic movies the original the movies that made disney what it is today they would drop $30 on that, on each one of those, in a heartbeat. And it would be an opportunity to make Disney more money. But hey, I guess the bean counters, the executives, and the marketing department know a lot more than what the fans actually want. They know better than the fans, the people who have loved Disney since the beginning. Maybe not so much fans of nowadays, modern-day Disney, and the garbage that they're pushing out, the ideology they're pushing out. Go back to the classics. I've said it before and I'll keep on saying it. Re-release the classic movies. Especially add in that, uh, that original poster art. And it'll be like printing money. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Is $1,500 something that you would dump on 100 Disney movies? Is that price point... Do you think that price point is out of reach for a majority of Disney fans? Or do you think it's reasonable? Let me know what you think. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Hit that little subscribe button. Share it with your friends and family and let them come listen to the nonsense I spew about. But have a good one.